Hello, this is Maggie, and in a previous video I tuned from the bottom to the top of the piano in octaves, and then from the bottom to the top of the piano in fifths, and we experienced the Pythagorean comma. What if I squished this into a smaller space? What if I started on this F and went up by fifths? tuned these pure, which I will eventually be talking more about, and then I tune an octave and another octave, and then from there I went up a major third. What happens with this A? I used the same key this time, but I tuned two different strings, so this octave, octave, major third gives me this, and when I go up by fifths, it gives me that. Let's listen to them again. Could you hear the difference? Here they are together. Oh boy, isn't that lovely? That difference is the syntonic comma and more on that in a future video. So this one's gonna be short and sweet. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have, thank you very much. If you have any suggestions, comments, concerns, corrections, email me at maggie at thebutlerschool.org, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.